Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you what a very basic catapult, just like this, uh, can do to um, anything of similar or game size as a pigeon size. So it's a very uh, basic catapult, as you can see. It's red elastic, which so it isn't the strongest elastic. In fact, it's quite a weak elastic. This is an average just fishing catapult. You can buy them without a license. You don't need anything for it, obviously. It's not a firearm. Um, you can kill people with these if you do use musket balls, um, even some stones and rocks, and fire at their head. Um, I wouldn't suggest that I was you, but I mean, yeah, I just don't do it. Um, basically, um, yes, I've pigeons and squirrels. So they can be taken out with these very easily. Now, what I use is little little gem pellets. They're very simple little things. They're normally in a little household object things they're just they're not marbles they've got flat and then they're round you can you can use marbles marbles are great but I also find these um, what they do is when you smack them hard enough they actually if they hit wood which I've been using my fence and it's very hard wood it's not soft uh, like when I use my air rifling I do soft wood so it doesn't re 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 whatever um, anywhere which we do, where you don't want it to go, but these they actually they actually crack when you hit the wood sometimes. I'll see if I can fire one in my little pot here, which is got a bit of damage. There we go. This one I'm not sure you be able to see. You might be able to. It's as you can see, it's slightly cracked on the edges. Um, that's a very common thing in my in my shots. So um, these these all cans have had about ten shots each. They've all been soft, medium to hard hits. This is the Coke can. Uh, it's a dark Coke can. Um, it's What shocked me is even the powerfulest of hits never ever made a hole in this. They just dented it so badly. It's almost flat, but I mean, you know, it's, it, you know, that shows what one of these can do, smacking it. I mean, if you hit that, if you knock that now, it doesn't sound so, it sounds a lot harder and reinforced, but it's you know, I suppose it's reinforced by the other side more now, so maybe that's why there's no holes in it. But you'd wonder, how could you take an animal with something which would only dent it? Well, if you knock them hard enough on their head or something, um, all the brain damage will kill them instantly. They've got very small brains, birds, and uh, there we go. Uh, Smirnoff Coke. This was drunk about five days ago, and now I decided to give it a bit of a smack in. As you can see, that's had a bit of hits but this side not much damage at all but again no holes and nowhere it could have leaked and that's what I was hoping for but something saved the day I have a dog and we give her butchers uh, it's a bit of product placement there um, so yeah uh, this obviously these are harder cans for sweet corn and whatever you'd use them whatever you would use for um, and basically, as you might be seeing, there's a lot of dents. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can see if you can see a bit of it actually. Um, and it actually has, hasn't put too many holes in, but I didn't only shot about five very powerful shots on this, and it, it's dented it remarkably actually. And if you press it in slightly, it's much more soft. And you can see the bottom bit there. That's had a good a good hit as well. And um, it's much more softer than than the others. I mean, it's pierced. It's pierced a bit of the bit of the on near that new bit um, so it's pissed a bit there um, so yeah I mean it, it just shows what you can do with a catapult and um, if you are going to go for pigeons you want to, you want to be getting within sort of 10 15 yards and making sure you're accurate and to get to get down practice you can practice in your garden as long as you've got a, not a soft earth or a chipboard behind it so it doesn't really show you off um, anyway we're going to talk about a bit more of the air gun the air gun magazine um, Air Gun World magazine. Um, it's a good magazine. Uh, it's got lots of really great bits and bobs in it. Um, for example, you've got a good, good sales page and a few great articles. So I'm going to be doing some more talks every month on these magazines and what articles are what and stuff. And um, a new air rifle, our air rifle I'll be getting soon is a, a Kral Devil. Um, it's a Turkish made rifle and um, it's 11.5 pound, foot pounds of energy on the, at the muzzle, so it's a very, it's quite a powerful rifle. Um, it cost me 200 quid with a scope, and uh, I also got 500 pellets with it. It's a Hawk HD Sports Scope, uh, four times 39 zoom, so it's it's quite a good scope. It will definitely do the job. I don't like scopes which 
magnified too much because that way you, you're not going to get um, a, such a good, uh, shall I say, um, if you're going for small rabbits and stuff, you don't want a too big zoom because that rifle, I mean, you're going to be hitting rabbits within 50 yards anyway. You don't need a really powerful rifle or an expensive rifle. So um, I'm going to be doing a few more videos of rifling, air rifling soon and um, a few videos with the catapult because actually the catapult was uh, it's the first really ever powerful uh, self-firing weapon almost, not self-firing, but something which you can just pull back and it, you let go, it fires hard, fires fast because the first sort of things were swords and axes, you know. Uh, the, this was, I was able to use twine instead of the elastic and really pelted them and that's what they used in war times and medieval times. So a bit of history there for you. These The catapults actually date back to sort of uh, 1200s, um, which is which is, which is is quite late um, if you think about it, but um, we, people, they could have used them in Roman times, but we, we wouldn't know because we haven't found the evidence of them using them. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, that's interesting. Anyway, I'm going to move on now to my second part of the video, which is actually snares. Now, I'm in the UK, obviously you can tell by my accent. Um, I've got a slight American accent, a little bit, but not, not too much. Uh, these snares are copper wiring. They're very simple. Uh, basically, you want to do two loops, one, end loop, one loop there and one loop there, as you can see. And you want to put the two loops, say, that's, it. that's not a loop, I know, but that's loops there. And you want to tie that bit to a tree or something. And then when something comes through, it will pull on it. And as you can see there, it's pretty tight. Um, fox snaring now has been limited quite a bit. Um, it, it, you gotta, it's got to be free lining. Uh, it's got to be. There's got to be a stop uh, 26 centimeters from here. So 26 centimeters is about uh, there or something. So you'd have to have a stop there, so it doesn't cut into the neck and, and kill them like that. But uh, you want you have to check. You have to check says at least twice a day, um, and just deliver a, a a two two to its head or something, uh, and put it out humanely. So I wouldn't recommend using snares if you really want to get into hunting, um, an air rifle. Uh, or a, very, or a good, I mean this isn't, this is a quite basic uh, catapult for, for small stuff, I wouldn't use this for rabbit, but for anything else I would certainly have a go at. Uh, thanks for listening and um, I'm going to do, as I said, a few more uh, air rifle reviews of my crowd devil because I haven't really found one on YouTube. There is one or two videos but they don't actually give a very good description at all and there's no shooting part of it. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening, and um, I'll get back to you soon with my crowd devil, and um, a bit of hunting with it, and some target shooting, and thank you very much for listening.